This is It's My Life 365 and we're about to start a four day, five day road trip to Kruger National Park. Let's go. I'm travel writer photographer Brendan Vanson and this is my daily adventure. Welcome to It's My Life 365. I'm back in another rental car now and I'm heading up to Kruger National Park. I've got five full days there. So rather than do the one day, one day, one day thing, since it's all gonna be wildlife, it's all Kruger National Park, I'm just gonna do a super five day episode. So let's hit the road. It's about five hours to Kruger, Nas Kruger National Park and we're gonna try to find the entire big five. So let's let's do this. It's gonna be fun. Woohoo! now in Kruger and it's just after 3. They say it's an hour from here to the camp and I have to be there by 5.30. So I've got two hours to get there. I'm gonna go um, check out a couple water holes. There's a place called Transport Dam that I've been checking online and there's been a lot of uh, leopard activity there of late. So I'm gonna go see if we can find some leopards there as well, if I have time. But uh, yeah, let's see how things go. So I've just entered the park and already found some elephants. There's a baby one too, but it's kind of hiding behind a tree on me. So the sun is going down. Uh, I did see quite a bit of wildlife. I saw elephants, a giraffe, a couple giraffe actually, lots of antelope, crocodile, and I think that's it. Some monkeys maybe. I think I saw monkeys. And yeah, so I've got to get to the, the camp now and check in before the gate closes. So I've kind of got a boogie. I think I've got to be there in less than an hour. <laughs> and I'm, I'm told it's about an hour from here. So I've got to kind of move. So I'm hoping there's leopards around on the way. I, I'd be late to the gate for a leopard. I'd be cool with that. This is Transport Dam where I'm just coming from. This is where the leopard has been spotted every single day for the past week. So uh, I'll come back here tomorrow morning and check things out. So look, I barbecued some dinner. I'm set up here at camp. There's my food. Look at all that steak. Yeah, it's good. Might be a little bit dark. You might not see me actually. But yeah, I'm set up here and it's perfect here. It's really cool. Uh, I think they said the park gates open at six in the morning, which is actually before it's even light out. So I'm gonna take off right at 6 a.m. right when the gates open and hopefully we see some leopards tomorrow. So I'll see you then. So it's just right after six, they just opened the gates and the sun's still not up. And I'm gonna go uh, searching for some wildlife here first thing in the morning. Best time to see lions and hyenas and probably leopards as well. And I've never seen any of those animals. So that's what I'm looking for. So let's go see what I can find. So sweet, just spotted uh, a rhino. I was actually first on the scene and it was right beside the road so I got some really um, close shots. It was in pretty bad light though so they're not probably great shots but I got some cool shots. I think of a, a rhino. Uh, I can't remember which one's bigger, the white or the black rhino, but I believe that was the black rhino. <laughs> the smaller of the two, so yeah, cool sighting. Um, now it's time to cruise down some dirt road looking for leopards and lions and other big animals. I'm back on the road again. I was planning on taking a bit of a break, but I ran into some people I saw at the transport dam yesterday when I was looking for the leopard. And they said that the moment I left, as soon as I left, the, the leopard popped out. And not only did it pop out, but it was chased up the tree by some hyenas. And the hyenas were there with baby hyenas. And it was apparently a brilliant scene. And I missed it all. In fact, I might have started it. My leaving probably opened up the possibility for everybody else to see such a crazy thing. But yeah, so I couldn't sit around uh, camp not having seen a leopard. So I'm going to drive a massive loop, which will be about three hours um, and hopefully end up at that transport dam again this afternoon 
and hopefully it'll still be there. That leopard was also spotted at transport dam this morning at 7.30 when I decided to go the opposite way. Um, yeah, just my luck. I'm the anti-leopard hunter, I guess. Anyways, let's go see if we can find one. left in my day and I got my leopard. Fucking sweet. <laughs> got my leopard and it was beautiful. It was pretty active when I first got to her and uh, just cleaning herself and yeah it was so sweet. So I got a couple good shots actually. Uh, some good photos I think which is amazing. I never expected that. I'm very stoked, really excited right now but I'm, I'm really late getting back to, to camp now. Luckily uh, the, the leopard there started to get a little bit um, a little bit lazy and I think went to sleep so I didn't feel so bad leaving her but absolutely awesome very cool sighting wide angle giraffe hello anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day I'm gonna head to to camp barbecue up some food and then uh, and then hit the hay I've been up so long and I didn't really go to sleep last night I couldn't sleep at all so yeah, tomorrow morning I'm gonna be packing up really early, game driving. I'm probably gonna come back here and, and see if this leopard's still in that tree. And then I'm game driving to another camp farther north, basically in the center of the park. And hopefully there'll be some other animals up there like lions. It's all we need to see is lions. I saw seven, seven rhinos today, seven. I thought those guys were endangered. Anyways, stay tuned. The super episode continues. So I'm back on the road again after another fairly sleepless night. This is, uh, I guess, day three in Kruger National Park and today's goal is to find some lions. So I'm up at dawn again to try to do so. I also want to see hyenas, so lions and hyenas today. I actually just stopped to uh, to take some pictures of, of, of a rhino family. There was two parents, I'm assuming, and, uh, and a baby, and some wildebeest, and a bunch of warthogs. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I didn't see them at all, just uh, all the wildebeest just started flying. All the animals started running. And of course, there was a whole pack of lions behind them. And the lions actually failed to get their animal, uh, which would have been amazing because I was right on the scene. And yeah, so anyway, there were three lions. I didn't get enough video because I was too busy trying to take photos. I should have taken some video for you. But yeah, that was so sweet. I've seen five lions today. I've seen four rhinos. So sick. It's not even nine o'clock yet. It's 8.30. So sweet on day three here in Kruger National Park. So once again the sun is going down this will be the third night here in Kruger coming up and a fantastic day we got lions we got uh, lots of rhinos again although I really didn't film as much of that stuff as I should have I also did about 200 kilometers worth of driving to get to the north of the park so now I'm in the north of Kruger um, blinded by the sun going down tomorrow should be another really cool day uh, as we head farther north and so the super episode here in Kruger continues tomorrow only got 30 seconds left of space on this so I gotta be quick day three or four whatever it is has been a disaster <laughs> I locked my keys in the car last night and I've been waiting the entire day for people to come out and uh, and get the keys fixed get them out it's just been an absolute disaster 15 seconds left so day four I'm continuing on now to another camp and yeah it's already 2 30 so I'm gonna be late so I gotta move day four. Let's hopefully find more animals in the last couple hours of the day. So 
that's it for, for Kruger National Park and the super episode here on It's My Life 365. I'm now here in, in I can't remember, Nels Pruitt, which is just outside the park. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome time. I hope you like seeing the wildlife. And, and let's keep rolling on the show. I'll catch you next time. Peace.